Nigeria is very simple. It is something known by everyone in the, all over the world. Our position is simple, that these persons voluntarily came out and told the world that they had defected. As a matter of fact, we saw it on Channels TV, saw it on TVC, and we have now come here to tell the court that, look, having done that, they should vacate the seat so that INE can conduct a by-election where everybody, including the Labour Party, will contest. Furthermore, at the Federal High Court in Abuja, they deposed to an affidavit reflecting the fact that they have defected. The PDP also responded to that affidavit, admitting that they have uh, defected. Interestingly, we have uh, video clips to play here, so we hope that on the day, the court already had granted us leave to play that video clip, so on the day we'll be adopting we will play that clip for the whole world to also see what they already said before. And what happened most time is that you court will usually take the preliminary applications before they get to the substantive uh, uh, matter. So what happened today uh, was exactly so. Uh, court needed to trash out the preliminary issues uh, before it gets into the substantive matter. Well, the... Um, the first defendant, as well as the second to the 28th defendant, were asking the court to order the plaintiff, or so to say, the plaintiff in the matter to file pleadings on the basis that the issue before the court is contentious and is not one of such issues that can be determined on a, a documentary basis, so to say. That's on ground of our originating summons. So that's the issue that the court has actually taken. Is the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly? A proud member of the All Progressive Congress. And other members of the River State House of Assembly. My party is grateful. We are enriched and we are in firm control of the River State House of Assembly. <laughs> Let me use this opportunity to thank my brother and my friend. Is that Celeste? Yes, and Wiki. <laughs> Thank you. The former governor of River State. Now, the minister of FCT. Before me here, is the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, a proud member of the All Progressive Congress, and other members of the River State House of Assembly. My party is grateful. We are enriched, and we are in firm control of the River State House of Assembly. Let me use this opportunity to thank my brother and my friend, His Excellency, yes, and Wike, for the monumental support he gave to our presidential candidate in the 2023 election. Honorable Minister, we thank you for your support and we value your support. And I want to say, here, yeah, as a member of the National Working Committee of our great party, we do not take your support for granted. We will continue to work with you 
we will continue to partner with you and our president, the performing president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Adben Tindibu, will continue to hold you and work with you. For us in the All Progressive Congress, our coming to this place this afternoon is not about political party. Yesterday, my brother paid me a very, very important visit in my village. And I remain grateful to you for that visit. But just to let you know that as a political party, we are aware that our main business in politics is to unite River State. Continue to unite River State. This kind of unity, the unity we have today in River State is not easy to be, to, to be accomplished. We owe you that support, we owe you that friendship, and we are praying. We have consulted a lot of prayer warriors so that you will change your mind and leave the PDP. I'll <laughs> come, come and join our party. That prayer, I know it will work. Amen. If you are in support of that prayer, say aye. aye. God bless you.